this documentary, we will be learning about three students with Asperger's. Asperger's syndrome is a pervasive development disorder which affects all communication skills and behaviour. This means that you are born with the condition and it can affect everything you do. How do you feel about uh, having Asperger's? I do like I do like having it, but it can be a it, it can be um it can be a barrier sometimes. But it's I you know I'm glad I'm glad I've got it. It makes me different. So yes. At the college, they word process a lot of their work, as well as keep up with what's going on in the world. They also like to watch videos on the internet. It's affected me in a surprising way. I mean, I've got a good memory to remind people in case they forget things. But then again, I forget what, them, what I'm going to remind them about. So yeah, having Asperger's for me is a good thing. When I leave college, I want to work in a, in a clothes shop or music store or game store. One day I would like like a fat and relationship with a girl. Some people think in a different way to other people and might take things that people say the wrong way. Sometimes they might not get a joke that people tell them. Some people also like to have a strict routine and don't like to change it. Asperger's only affects me in two ways really, my understanding and my concentration, but apart from that, um, um, I have a mixed reaction about it, about the fact that I've got it, because one, um, it wouldn't, you wouldn't clearly recognise it on me, and the other one is, you know, I don't think it, <coughs> without the Asperger's, I don't think it makes me the person that I am, so I'm glad, I'm kind of glad to have it. When it is a nice day, they sit outside in the garden to talk about what's on their minds and their daily lives. I sometimes forget what I've told people or what I'm about to tell people. Sometimes I can misinterpret common phrases and jokes and sometimes take things the wrong way. I got bullied at primary school not just by students there but also by the teachers. The teachers they they had a prejudice against me, all of them, maybe even the head teacher as well. He never took any notice of it. Even when I told him about it, he wouldn't do anything. And there was this one primary school trip to France in year six where mum had to come. And the, and the year six teachers, they treated her like a child and not a grown up. Whereas unlike here at this college, you're treated like a grown up and you're given choices of what you want to do. And then you make the decisions and then it, you stick with that, so that's how it works. When I got bullied, I always stuck up for myself. I used to have support workers at school, but I didn't really use them as I didn't want someone by my side all the time. I thought it would make me stick out from all the other students. So, I, um, so have you experienced any bullying at all? Um, yes, uh, at secondary school. and. Um, like public, I, I get it sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, um, so I'm quite tall, and I, I when I walk, I, I got a, like a bounce in my walk, and the clothes I wear and stuff, and those people comment on, you know, okay. you know on how I walk and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying as well. Mm -hmm. It upsets me. I feel, yeah, I've, I have, I've had um, people. Um, Out and about in public, people have bullied me. They've called me rude names. They even called me a person who is looking like a woman, who's intimately attracted to a woman, but they called me a big fat, you know, big fat whatever, but I'm not going to say it. My family, they are more protective towards me, and I'm more protective towards myself. I mean, I can stand up for myself somewhat.
had like one or two like kind of random kind of you know like confrontations with people, but nothing really that serious. I like listening to some music, uh, see my friends, and playing video games and watching films as well. Yeah, I like going on the internet on YouTube and watching music clips and stuff. Also, I like watching the TV news on the TV and watching films, going to the cinema and even going on holiday. I'm off to the States later this year, which I'm looking forward to in the summer, so yeah, that'd be a good thing. I, I, I usually play a lot of sports and um, I, like much, I like going jogging and keeping fit and music and films and games and seeing mates and making people happy and all that kind of thing, really. I would like to work in an area of transport, preferably trains, be a train driver one day, have a girlfriend one day, get married, have children and also live in various parts of the country and drive on many railway networks around the UK. Uh, what about you? Um, my ambitions. Um, I'm going back to college to do a BTEC for a diploma in sport mm -hmm. and after that hopefully I'm going to do some sort of coaching because um, I want to um, teach children mm -hmm. and teenagers sport. Um, I'd like to live independently but I don't think I'm quite ready at the moment. Um, and yeah, I'd like to have a girlfriend. I'm not. I'd like to have a girlfriend eventually, but I'm not really that far. I hope I've given you a good insight into what it's like to have Asperger's. Hope you've enjoyed this documentary, and from me, goodbye.